Hey, no, well, uh, welcome back to LA, I guess I should say. But uh, how many how many teams are kind of interested in you, and why were why were the Dodgers kind of the team that you uh, you ultimately chose? Um, trying to think. there are there are a few teams. Uh, I'm not really sure. I let I, I let my agent just kind of uh, deal with it, and when things really caught steam, to let me know. I think there are quite a bit of teams that made phone calls, but I was really only interested if they were uh pretty serious um and as far as my decision to to choose the dodgers i feel like everything that they touch um turns to gold um i mean this is a pretty surreal moment it's um i mean it's been my my dream ever since i was first introduced to dodger stadium to play for the dodgers since 2015 um just the the energy and the and the atmosphere that uh the dodger fans and that the they create and just the the goosebumps I get every time uh, I step on the field even as a as a visiting player I feel like um my performance is always elevated when I when I play there um and even this year when I kind of had a had a down year um based off my expectations and, and my standards I I still feel like the the one start I had at Dodger Stadium was uh uh, still some of the best stuff I had. Um, um, yeah, I think uh, just the uh, the utmost confidence in, in the, the staff and the, the organization to, to help me uh, get back to being the old me. And um, I just really uh, am fortunate and blessed to, to play for such a, a great organization that uh, the Dodgers are. And when you kind of say the, the old you, I mean, obviously everyone kind of sees the velocity. Is that kind of what you mean, or is it just something else, or just overall, or maybe you're breaking stuff? Like, what what kind of is 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 the old you? Um, yeah, the old, the old me. I mean, the velocity is one thing, but this year I just, um, you know, coming back from Tommy John about month thirteen or fourteen. Uh, I mean, I was throwing ninety seven, ninety eight in bullpens, and then I had a little. Uh, setback and I'm not really sure if my body kind of just went into a fight or flight kind of protect itself kind of thing or it was just the fact that I felt like I'd been throwing for the last three years doing like rehab like over the last three years I might have only had three or four total months off so that might have been a, a factor into the velocity dip but um, I started going down a, a movement and uh, pitching mechanics kind of rabbit hole and was getting away from what made me great um I tried to you know when I had surgery everyone was always telling me that I was too big or too bulky too strong um so instead of continuing to do what made me really good and just chalk it up to like hey it's Tommy John surgery a lot of pitchers a lot of baseball players go through that I completely um did an overhaul of my my training program and just like my emphasis in the weight room it was more a lot of mobility athleticism um and kind of shifted away from the strength and strength and explosiveness um but yeah um that's basically it and just like like this last year the the results were were pretty good but uh there were a lot of starts where i was just kind of fighting myself and not having a lot of confidence in my delivery and it was just kind of hard to uh, fix that during the season kind of like trying to change uh, the tires on a car while it's still moving um, but once the the, the off season hit instead of like kind of taking time off I went to uh, Charlotte North Carolina uh, to Tread Athletics um, did some more throwing there tried to figure some things out um, and then I went to to driveline after that uh, in Arizona and did some motion capture and and just kind of got a really good plan for the off season um for when i get to spring training i'm, I'm ready to hit the, the ground running awesome man thank you next question is from jack harris go ahead jack you know when you when you talk about you know the dodgers obviously they have this reputation like you said of of kind of helping pitchers and, and guys developing there what are the things that either you're hoping you kind of get from them specifically or the things that and while you talked to their their coaches or were going through this process that they told you that that really stuck out? 
um just to have the the confidence to go out there and and, and be free and easy and um when i'm on the mound competing in a game to just focus on the external um like you know whoever's catching that that evening um just whatever the signs they put down i'm focusing on executing that pitch as opposed to thinking about what my back leg's doing or how my or keeping my front side closed um that's more of like internal stuff that should be done in between starts um uh, but yeah just you know i i, I have the most confidence in the, the coaching staff and, and the dodgers organization to uh get me back to feeling that way how much work do you have you guys already talked about you know doing even leading up to spring or just when you talk about wanting to make some of those changes or refine things like kind of what does that look like the next couple of months for you um, well, I'm home in Dallas for the off or sorry for the holiday season right now. And then on the 27th, I'm actually going to go to Arizona and just start working with the guys from right then and there. And then one more, um, obviously, uh, with this team, like the number 34 is really special because of, uh, because of Fernando Valenzuela. H have you talked at all about the number situation? I know you kind of had a similar decision to make last year. Do, do you know what number you're going to wear yet next year? Uh, I think I'm just going to go with 43. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Questions for Fabian Ardaya. Go ahead, Fabian. Hey, no, nice to meet you. Um, so sort of on a similar vein, we sort of talk about how the Dodgers kind of turn everything to gold in your eyes. Like, is that something that word of mouth starts to spread in terms of some of these success stories that they've had with guys like Tyler Anderson last year, Andrew Heaney? Is that one of those things where – guys around the league sort of take notice about what the Dodgers are able to do with some of their pitchers? Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't really hear that very well. Can you say it one more time? Yeah, so, I mean, you sort of said that some of the Dodgers turn uh, everything into gold. Is that, when you sort of see some of these stories, like Tyler Anderson, Andrew Heaney, is that one of those things that word of mouth, guys around the league notice just that the Dodgers are able to maximize certain things in certain guys? Um. Yeah, I think when you think of, the Los Angeles Dodgers that has like this aura around it where the expectations are are super high and you're just expecting to go out there and perform to the highest level. Um, but yeah, just what they did with uh, with Heaney last year and and Tyler Anderson, I I'm, I definitely want to be in that category. And then you mentioned some like the mechanical stuff that you were dealing with last year. How it, was that mostly just about trying to find the velocity, or was there other stuff that you were trying to find as you're sort of dealing through that stuff last year? Um, I, I think I'm not really sure. I'm still trying to like process how, where where it all went kind of uh, haywire uh, because, like I said, month I, I couldn't have done a better rehab like. I mean, unfortunately, it happened to have like around the same time as as COVID, but it, it gave me there was nothing to do outside of rehab and eat, sleep, and breathe recovery and, and wellness. Um, so um, I, I was really on on the fast track of of my recovery to the point where like I came into spring training the following year. About that was almost a year uh into my rehab and they were trying to figure out if I should go on the 60 day because my, my bullpens were looking that good and comfortable and then I had that uh setback so um still trying to to figure that all out and I think where I kind of ran into an issue is I tried to you know the the crappy thing about pitching sometimes is I want to continue to like, like I love doing dry drills. I want to like continue to work, work, work. Whereas like in other sports like basketball, I can go out and shoot a basket for hours at a, at a time. Um, whereas baseball, you can't do that because you got to manage your workload to prevent injury. So I was trying to find ways to uh, basically take the mound into the weight room. And like, you can try to do that, but the still the, the mechanics of everything are uh, still a little different. Um, so like my patterning of my movements kind of emulated something that I shouldn't, that's not really efficient towards pitching. Like, yeah, I can still like throw and, and get by, but it wasn't like my direction and conviction and like, was just a, like a percentage point off. And that makes the world of difference. Thank you. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead, Bill. 
And Noah, you mentioned the uh, the plan for the off season. How much of it is physical and, and the delivery and mechanics uh, like you're talking about? How much of it is maybe the Dodgers giving you different ways to use your pitch mix? Um, well, I, the pitches I threw last year are, I just kind of want to throw those away and cause I can, I fully intend on being a, a different pitcher, uh, this next year. Um, so I haven't really paid attention to keeping like the, those pitch shapes, uh, just plan on evolving and working with what I got then. So it's is is it more in your mind of recapturing uh, the pitcher you used to be, or being the best you can with what you have now? Um, I, whatever I was doing last year was not the best version of me. Like, uh, there's really I see no excuse as to why I can't get back to 100 miles an hour, and even farther than that. Um, just doesn't make any sense. There's, I, don't, I don't think there's like a, a baseball player in the MLB that does what I do when it comes to the the, the recovery and, and the training and just the attention to detail. Thank you. We got time for a couple more. Go ahead, Joe. Or, sorry, go ahead, Eric. No, I was wondering, is there anything physically you're able to do like this off season that you maybe weren't uh, able to do last off season? Are you, were you limited at all last year? Uh, no, I was uh, completely healed and, and ready to go. All right. Last one's from Joe Reedy. Go ahead, Joe. Hey, now, uh, th th now with your third organization now in about 15 months, is there anything that you took can take last year from the uh, Angels and Phillies that you can use going into the Dodgers? Um, I would say from the Phillies. I mean, yeah, those guys had uh, an insane amount of talent, but uh, I can honestly say I love those guys like brothers and – the clubhouse uh, was treated as such. Um, good, a lot of good dudes with really strong personalities that really meshed well that just uh, wanted to win baseball games. <laughs>